So this is how we do keyword optimization at Graphx. It's a little bit different, a little bit more of a data-driven method. We're gonna make a series of Google searches around a topic. This topic today is gonna to be keyword optimization. And then we're gonna take the top ranking URLs for each of those searches and analyze the text inside of those URLs. Keyword optimization is really, really difficult. So we thought, why not just have a look at what the successful sites are doing already. So the first thing we want to do is head over to Google Keyword Planner and we're going to use this tool to get us uh, our series of searches. So I'm going to click discover new keywords. Our article is about keyword optimization. So we're going to put in keyword optimization and click get results. And this is going to bring me up with a data set. We're really just interested in these keywords, which we're going to use as Google searches. So I'm going to download this data set. Annoyingly, the data set comes with a couple of meta rows at the top. So I'm going to have to put it into Google Sheets, clean it up a little bit. I'm going to click download. OK, so as you can see, we've got quite a lot of information here. So I'm just going to get rid of everything that's beyond G and I'm going to get rid of rows one and two. Delete that just because we want our column headers to be in the first row of the data set. Download it as a CSV. Fantastic. So I've got that as a CSV. So now what we want to do is head over to DeepNote. So basically, we're going to use that data set that we've just made in Google Sheets to make searches and we're going to return these top ranking URLs. So I need to make sure that I'm reading in the data set. I've got my data set name here called Keyword Planner Data Set. I'm going to drag it and drop it into DeepNote and I've got it here in my workspace. So now I can just run the notebook. I'm going to install a module called Google Search. It's going to make my searches for me. I'm going to read in the data set. I'm going to perform the search. I'm going to get a, a list of the URLs that are in Google's top results for each of these queries. And I'm going to make sure that each row in the data set represents one URL. And then I'm just going to export the data set. So now I've got the data set with all of my URLs, I'm ready to move on to scrape the, the text inside of those URLs and perform the analysis with Graphx at the same time. So I wanna load up Graphx, I've got my SEO analytics team here, and I'm just gonna drag and drop the data set into Graphx. Okay, brilliant. So that took about 20 seconds to upload. I've got 1,435 rows and the same variables that I had in DeepNote. I'm going to be scraping the text uh, from each of these URLs so that we can run kind of text analysis, a content analysis of what's inside of these URLs all at the same time. I'm gonna choose text as my analysis type. I wanna choose word co-occurrence. I've got the data extraction tab here. URLs contains the text that we want to analyze. So this step is really important as it's gonna scrape the text uh, from these URLs and plug it straight into the rest of Graphics's um, analysis steps. And I'm just gonna increase this threshold. Uh, I don't want a keyword to be included in my analysis unless it appears five times. I'm gonna call my project keyword optimization co-occurrence and I'm gonna execute it. Okay, so opening the project up, this is what we're gonna see, a network visualization which uh, features all of the keywords that were extracted from all of the URLs in our data set. Keywords are linked together based on mutual co-occurrence. So if they appeared in the same website, then they're gonna be linked together. We also have a very important variable here called count. And if we highlight the most frequently occurring keywords, we can see things like Google page site content, not very surprising and these keywords are probably going to have a lot of competition so this count variable because of the outliers isn't really easy to work with at the moment so what i'm going to do is create a new segmentation that splits it up into high low and medium categories create a new segmentation and call this count categories brilliant and i'm going to use my statistic filters to do so q1 median and q3 so i'm going to use q1 and i'm just going to add this to low frequency, click OK. The median filter, brilliant. 
Okay, I'm going to save that. We're going to apply some color mapping so we can start to see this variable visualized. So we've got a, a big pocket of high frequency keywords towards the right side of the graph. So I want to quickly show you how we might find specific keywords in the data set now. I'm going to look for data uh, because this article that I'm writing is all about data. So I'm going to select the node related to data just clear my search box and select its neighbors. Now this is showing me the keywords that were associated directly with data. We see Google Trends, content, keyword Google. A lot of these are high frequency keywords, so I'm probably not gonna have much luck if I'm trying to rank for them. Let's try something else. I'm gonna take a quick look and see if I can find some keywords related to Amazon. Amazon SEO is quite important because a lot of people have got products that they need to be found on Google search. I am gonna select the node for Amazon, select its neighbors, clear my search. We have a lot of keywords very visually indicated to us here uh, related to Amazon. I've got quite a few high frequency keywords, deselect them just have my medium and low frequency keywords active. I'm gonna bring up the node labels a little bit more so we can see what's going on. So we see items like Amazon ranking, product search, product feature, uh, core algorithm, Amazon search bar. These are all kind of medium frequency keywords, which might be a really good idea to include in an article uh, about Amazon SEO optimization. Plenty more to discover. And don't forget, if you want to repeat the analysis for yourself, duplicate the deep note notebook and make sure that you include a sensible uh, initial query using Google AdWords Keyword Planner.